And away from that story now, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Enoch Adeboye, on Sunday led members of his church in a prayer walk against insecurity in Nigeria. Pastor Adeboye had directed the congregation to participate in the prayer walk declared by the Christian Association of Nigeria to address the spate of killings across the country. According to an assistant general overseer of the church, Funso Odeshola, about 25,000 parishes of the church are expected to carry out the same exercise nationwide. Can President Samson Ayokunle earlier announced a series of activities aimed at asking for divine intervention in stopping the killing of innocent Nigerians and giving the government the capacity to overcome terror in the country. Earlier on, Plus TV Africa spoke with a security analyst from London, Femi Aratokun Ali, and he reacted to the security situation in the country. Good day, fellow Nigerians. Mothers, Fathers, men, women, faith leaders, the federal governments, well meaning Nigerians all over the world. The present insecurity situation in Nigeria has gotten to a stage whereby we need to start thinking outside the box. We cannot continue to pay lip services and see people dying constantly. Who are they? We really don't know. Are they foreigners? Are they Nigerians? We don't know who is who anymore. The present protest from the fake leaders today is a different ball game entirely. It's never happened before, and now we're beginning to see it. We have made so many proposals, so many ideas given to them in terms of security strategy training to mitigate all these killings going on in within the Khan Association and so many other churches around the world and even in Nigeria as a whole. But I think they are now getting the message that it is not just the member of public alone, it can happen to anyone. Now the war has been directed and is now targeting the faith followers. It could be the Muslims, it could be the Christian, it could be anyone. For Pastor Adeboye to have come out openly and walk the walk of, we are in their need of proper security, says a whole lot in the Nigerian system today. We don't need to rely solely on the Nigerian police or the Nigerian military or the naval forces or the air forces to help us anymore. We now need to strategically think that how do we protect and secure ourselves. Federal government, to my own understanding, they've done so well. President Muhammad Buhari has done his best. All governors are putting hands together, are thinking alike that what is the proper way out from this. We are not far from the truth. We are just a country that we only like and we love just to react to situations. We are not ready to be proactive. What we are going through in Nigeria, other countries all over the world, some of them, let me put it that way, they've gone through it before. One way or the other, they are mitigating the threat. But in Nigeria, are we actually mitigating the threat? The answer is no. But are we paying lip services? The answer is yes. Are we partisan about security in Nigeria? The truth is yes, we are partisan about security in Nigeria. And the result is what we are seeing today. So many churches will say, oh, security belongs to God. God is not going to come down and help us solve this. It is a thing, it is a problem. We need to look for a solution within ourselves. Even if we call the white people to come and help us, they are not going to bring their people down here. They're still going to use our own people to do it. All they're going to do is give us the ideas, then leave it to us and collect our money. So in a way, some people are making gains out of this situation we are. It is now an epidemic that we need to look into how best to deal with it. 
Christians, Muslims, this is not just a fight for a particular person or to a particular group. It is a collective fight. It is a collective problem and we need to tackle it collectively. I will only please beg the federal government, the state government, the Khan Association, the Muslim Association as well. Let us think outside the box. Let us restructure the security architectural system in Nigeria. Let us start looking into community policing, church system of policing. All this stuff has got to be done. Market system of policing, environmental system of policing, our roadways, our railways, our every corners has got to be well policed. But we're not thinking in the way we should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Nigerians, I think no matter what we say, it is not just by talking, but it's by putting our talk into action. Thank you so much.